Okay, we've done a, a couple takes of this too, and Vice Principal Quincy uh, needed a timeout. Uh, he's probably right outside the door right now trying to get back in. Uh, but but he's a little rambunctious, so we're going to carry on without him. Taking a time out for yourself is a very healthy thing to do. Vice Principal Quincy has to do that all the time, and it's quite all right. So, a lesson for all of us. So, Ninja Red Riding Hood. Yesterday, we did the three ninja pigs, and a couple weeks ago, we did Hensel and Gretel Ninja Chicks. So, of course, Corey Rosen Schwartz, illustrated by Dan Santat. Permission to read from Scholastic. Here we go. I love these. Once upon a ninja-filled ninja time, a wolf couldn't catch any prey. He kept getting licked by the dinner he picked and was growing more ticked by the day. Always something with wolves. His belly was aching for bacon. I'm wasting away, he complained. To huff and to puff was no longer enough. So he snuck into school to be trained. Uh -oh. Look at the wolf's disguise. He practiced his katas for hours and mastered the whirlwind and wheel. He jackknife and flipped, and at last felt equipped to once again catch a good meal. Drooling with anticipation, he set off in search of some meat. While deep in the wood, he met Riding Hood. I'm bringing my grandma a treat. The wolf licked his chops when he saw her and hastily thought up a plan. There are blossoms that way you can pick a bouquet to give to your little old gran. Mm. Then the wolf took a shortcut to grandma's where he thought that he'd find her in bed, but granny was gone, so he put her robe on and, equal and eagerly waited for red. Wolf knows how to put up, put on some lipstick and uh, eyelashes. Hmm. Soon after, he he heard someone knocking. He called out, "My dear, come on in." Oh, don't you look good in your lovely red hood? But a shame that you've gotten so thin. Oh, Quincy's going out for a walk. Little Red took a look at her granny and said, What on earth did you do? I could swear that your eyes have completely changed size. Hey, Gran, are you sure that it's you? But of course it is me, my sweet darling. The better to see you, my dear. And your ears are so long. Something really seems wrong. Oh, my girl, all the better to hear. And those biceps, my gosh, they look massive. And your triceps and delts are immense. The better for hugging, her grandma said, shrugging. Dear Red, that's just plain common sense. And those teeth, they look so much sharper. Why, yes, all the better to chew. He jumped out of bed to gobble up red, but she'd gone to ninja school too. She grappled and sideswiped and twisted and escaped from his clutches unscratched. She attempted a lock, but he managed to block. They appeared to be evenly matched.
Just then, they both heard someone chopping. A woodsman, Red thought, but instead. It was Gran in her gi. She'd just come from Tai Chi. Don't you dare harm a hair on her head. Uh-oh. Don't mess with Gran. The wolf took a swing at that instant, but Red deftly dodged the attack. She got a good grip, threw him over her hip, and the wolf wound up flat on his back. I'll skedaddle, the wolf said in anguish as he struggled back up on his feet. Just a second, you beast. You will not be released till you promise to give up red meat. Though his tummy still rumbled with hunger, the wolf faced his rival and vowed, Ninja Red, you have won. My meat days are done. Oh, Red Chan, said Gran, I'm so proud. Then Red and Wolf bowed politely, and Gran gave him half, him half her peach pie. The wolf was a mess. He'd had way too much stress. I guess I'll give yoga a try. He enrolled at the Downward Dog Center, where his tension began to decrease. He studied with yogis, said no to meet hoagies, and felt at last truly at peace. There he is. Ninja, Ninja Red Riding Hood. Great book.